guys, on today's video I'm going to be doing a Kendall Jenner inspired makeup tutorial for spring. I saw her photos from what I believe is the Dolce & Gabbana runway show this spring and I really liked her minimal kind of face makeup and I liked the bold lip. I was actually pretty surprised because the bold lip that was used was actually a really deep kind of plum color with a little bit of a hint of red to it and so I kind of associate that with fall and winter but to see it coming in the spring is just pretty cool too and I just really liked her look all together because it's definitely something that I would do. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I am talking through this video so let me know what you guys think of doing tutorials in this way kind of just talking to you guys while I do everything as opposed to a voiceover. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below and yeah other than that let's just get into the video. And I'm going to be using a very buildable foundation that I like to use on a daily basis. If you watch my videos, you've seen it. It is the Bare Minerals uh, Bare Skin Fa Bright Pure Brightening Foundation. Um, and I like to mix two colors together, which is why I have these two. This is in the shade 06. This is in the shade 04. It's already wearing out, so I think it's in the shade 04. It's called Bare Ivory. All right, so I'm going to be taking my Beauty Blender sponge. It's damp right so I have it here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pat it onto my face All right and that should be good yeah and so I'm going to be using the bare minerals stroke of light eye brightener it looks like this and it's just um kind of has a nice pinky tone to it, a pink undertone, like a peach undertone. So I like using that. I'm going to just dab it along my lids. But, so I'm using my MAC Mineralize Concealer. It looks like this. And I'm just going to apply a little bit to this area. I'm going to take the side that I didn't use in my Beauty Blender sponge. As you, as you can see, I used the, this side for the foundation. And I'm going to be using this side for the concealer. I'm just going to pat everything to blend it out. And then there you go, there you have it. So, I don't know about you, but my under eyes tend to kind of crease a little bit um, when there's no setting powder involved. So I like to set at least the under eye area really, really well. Um, but I also like to set it with something that's lightweight, so I like using the Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Veil Powder. And I just go ahead and pat a little bit underneath the eye area. Just like that. The next thing that we're going to go into is just a very light contour, because she does have a contour going on. I totally creeped on her photos like a creeper should and um, kind of tried to get a, a grasp of what her makeup was actually like. So um, I'm going to be using my Anastasia contour kit and mine is in the original just light uh, to medium I guess shade. I'm going to be using this middle contour color right here. I'm going to go ahead and just briefly contour a little bit. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is add just a little bit of blush to the face. So I'm going to be using one of my absolute favorites. If you follow my channel, I've used it plenty of times and it's just such a great blush color. I feel like it looks great on my skin and I love using it this time of year. But I'm going to be using it for the spring because as you can tell in this photo, Kendall has berry lips, which is something that I feel like is more for fall, but for some reason it's popping out in the spring. So I'm going to be using Fever by MAC, which is a beautiful matte uh, plum color for the cheek area. And don't be afraid to use it. So I'm just going to add a little bit to my cheek area. go 
back in with my Anastasia kit. I'm going to be using this matte vanilla shade, a, a flat top, um, it's kind of angled actually, flat top brush like this, and I'm just going to add a little bit of it onto the brush, and I'm going to go over just a little bit. I want to go ahead and do my brows really quick. I'm going to take a little bit of this brow pencil, it's a brow wax pencil from NYX, and I'm just going to drag the um, front hairs upwards like that to kind of give them that natural looking kind of like untamed effect. Alright, so almost done. Now we're going to move on to the eyes, which Kendall has very just minimal, and it almost looks as though her eyeliner isn't liquid, it looks as though it was like a powder shadow. First thing we're going to focus in on is the crease area, which I noticed she has kind of like a mauve type of color. And so today I decided I'm going to be using um, Tease from the Naked 2 palette. Looks like that. It's just a pretty uh, gray, mauve, grayish purple color. We're going to smoke that a little bit into the crease. So now for the um, inner part of my eye, I'm going to take this um, e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow Kit. It's only a dollar at the drugstore, which too. So um, I'm going to be using the base color, which is that top color right there. And I'm going to be just lightly dusting it onto my lid. I'm just going to do it with my finger, with my ring finger. It's taking a little bit on there. And now for the liner, just taking any kind of black eyeshadow that you have. And I'm going to begin by doing the lid and just kind of dragging the line outwards. to go back in with the base color we use for the lids I'm just going to apply a little bit into the inner corner then I'm just going to take this um, NYX wonder pencil and it's a multi-purpose pencil it's a concealer eye brightener um, reverse lip liner apparently we're going to use it for the inner rim of our waterline so I'm going to add a little bit in there curling my lashes just a bit Um, my favorite mascara of the moment is the NYC Big Bold Curl Mascara, which is amazing. It has a little, it has some of its cons. It, it flakes a little sometimes, depends how much you put. But today we're just going to add a little, one coat, just one brief coat of mascara. So you 
can tell you have lashes, but not so much. Just first, I'm going to take the NYX liner that I used in my waterline, cleaning it off a little at the tip because we did use it for the eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with it. to be using this pretty berry color from elf it's in the shade wine tour and i believe these lipsticks are one or three dollars not a hundred percent but it seems to match kendall's pretty well and it's very inexpensive so i figured i would use it Last but not least, I'm going to go back in with my contour kit. I'm going to be using the shimmery vanilla shade right in the corner there. It's on the other side of the one that we used earlier. I'm just going to take the edge of my brush and I'm going to apply a little... And now, aside from the baby hairs that I have that Kendall doesn't have, the look is complete. And here's the makeup look that I came up with. So, there you have it. Let me know how I did in the comment section below. And also, you can let me know on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I will see you guys again very soon with another makeup tutorial. Bye!